ain't doing no favors Treat you like a stranger All you wanted was Beatboxing bullshit was going for a minute, but we back. You already know what it is, beatboxing bullshit. And we have a very special guest, Destiny Brianna. Can you say like the tag the way you say it? <laughs> Destiny Brianna. <laughs> <laughs> it was fire. I can't believe you just made me do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's super catchy. I uh I first saw you at what was it? Was it was it called like show and set? Set, they were like selling a bunch of stuff. It was like a couple months back. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I was there. It was my first time seeing you. And I was like, just there. You are amazing live. Thank you. Like, your performance is like very accurate. And I don't do this often at all. But when I went home, I remembered the name and got the music. I rarely ever do that from Dope. any show. You know, so <laughs> I got it and I was listening to it. And it was just... So I'm like a dancer. And I was listening to it. And I like music that... You listen to it and you feel like you're in a music video. Like I was hitting my whole Chris Brown shit. Like I feel like this. I was getting my Chris Brown on, like for real. So I decided to hit you up, and that was months ago. So I was just in New York because I'm from New York, and I was walking to the pizza store, and I put that song on because I hadn't listened to it in a while. And as I was walking, I felt like the whole, you know, like the Yo video. Like, where he's just walking down the street. I was, like, grabbing yeah. onto the poles, like, doing all my shit. Because I don't care how, like, what people, if people are looking at me, like, what they care. But it was just a vibe. So, I'm definitely glad to have you here. Thank you for coming. Thank you for uh, having But me. let's, so I was trying to, you know, do my research, come up to speed. Like, who is Destiny? And I don't know. So, <laughs> who is Destiny Brianna? Um, Destiny Brianna is an artist. I'm from Atlanta. Okay. So, um, I've been doing music for... Like officially for like eight years since 2012 so yeah what made you want to start um i've always been into music like i've always been in chorus stuff like that in school but then i just was like okay i think i want to start making my own music i started off like writing poems and i used to want to be an author <laughs> But you don't then, want to do that anymore? No, I don't. I mean, maybe later in life, like when I'm old. <laughs> okay, so writing, did you say you started with poetry? Mm-hmm. So writing with, like, in poetry, how did you decide, like, oh, I want some hard-ass hitting beats behind this? It didn't start off like that. So at first when I started doing music, I was just really into big R&B and soul, but then... I started remixing songs, like other artists' songs, and basically that kind of made me tap into more upbeat things, because I did a cover to One Night. One Night? I saw that. Yeah. That shit popped. And so... <laughs> <laughs> How did that pop? Um, It's really crazy. Like, I was just in my room one day, and I was playing around, and I just recorded, like, a little snippet of me singing it, like, over the beat on my camera well yeah. like on my phone and then i posted it on instagram and as soon as i posted it it had like 10 comments in a minute and i was like oh this is about to go up so <laughs> i had to delete the video and put my tag on there oh, so they know okay. like follow me and then i posted it on instagram and twitter and they both went viral so oh dope yeah. so instagram and twitter and then went viral from there because i was looking up doing my due diligence and i saw i was like oh i'm here from musically i'm here from this i'm here from that yeah, like, exactly. okay yeah this went like viral viral <laughs> so um was that what other covers did you do was that um, like one of the first ones yeah that was the first one that well i take that back so i did a remix to all day by kanye like mm -hmm. that was my first official um original i i don't want to call it like a song because it's not my song but of course mm -hmm. it was like my original lyrics on right. the beat so that was the first thing it's i did <laughs> yeah it was my remix and so i dropped that um that was like the first thing that anyone has ever heard from me that i wrote okay and i didn't have beats because i didn't have a producer so i had no choice but to keep remixing stuff so that's how that happened Got it. so how did you find a producer you work with produce the wave Mm -hmm. exclusively yes okay so how did that relationship kind of be um so it was really funny we went to high school together okay. in the ninth and tenth grade but we didn't speak to each other at all and we had a mutual friend who was also an artist and he asked me to get on a song 
and do like some background vocals for him. And so we went to Wave Studio at his house okay. and it was like a high and by type thing. And then maybe after we graduated high school, he hit me up and was just like, yo, I have some beats for you. Like, check them out. And I liked them, but I didn't use them. And so he hit me up again and was just like, you know, I really want to work with you. I'm still he was kind of new to it as well. Mm hmm. So he was just like, you know, I just want you to come to my studio and see if we can catch a vibe. And we did. And oh, always, ever since. catching the vibe. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, ever right. since then, he's just been my producer. Okay. So did he make Unconcerned? Yes, he did. Okay. <laughs> shout out to Produce The Wave for making that <laughs> slapper, like legitimately. Yeah, I'm a producer and him. that was presto. <laughs> so yeah. Um. So tell me about Off The Radar. How'd that come to be? Um, Which is your album. Yes. Correct. Okay. Go mm -hmm. Well, ahead. EP, but EP. Yeah, same thing, kind of. <laughs> People are gonna attack me for saying that, <laughs> but um, so off the radar, I didn't have a name for it at first. I kind of just we were working on singles, just like we didn't have a direction for the project yet. Mm -hmm. But then we just kept making songs, and then I just picked what I wanted to put on the project, like what I felt sounded good sonically. So, um. After that, I I had a different name at first, and then I kind of took a break from being on the scene in Atlanta because I was doing a lot of shows at the time. Okay. Like every weekend, I was performing in the city, nice. doing something. Do people hit you up like once you do a show? Like do people just hit you up? Oh, I want you here. Want you here? Yeah, basically, they were like, "I saw you perform there last weekend. Can you come to my showcase?" And I was like, "Okay," but then I got tired of performing the same songs because I didn't have anything out. Got it. And I was just like, "Okay, I need to take a break and kind of focus on the music side." And so that's kind of how Off the Radar came because I was like Off the Radar. It's great, yeah. Yeah, and so. Okay, dope. <laughs> so how was that project, like, making it for you? Like, what did you learn from that project? Um, a lot. <laughs> Get into it. So, basically, I mean, I just kind of learned. I really developed my sound doing that project because I didn't have a specific one because my first project in Too Deep, it was more... I want to say it was more on the pop side, but okay. off the radar, I was like kind of tapping into my R&B side more, and that was really just about a past relationship that I was in, and okay. I was basically just expressing my emotions through that, okay. so yeah, that's, that's kind of where that came from. All right, <laughs> so what's next for you? I'm currently working on another project at the moment, um, working on that and visuals, stuff like that. Just making sure I'm being consistent with content because I really do just drop a project and then I go off the radar again. <laughs> <laughs> just goes, that was supposed to be like for off the radar. I'm like, ah, uh, hmm. What do you like to do like when it's not on stage singing? I like to be in the studio. You like to be in the studio. And so you maybe, wake up, just go to the studio. I try to. I mean, of course, I work. Right. So other than that, I try to spend all my free time in the studio. Okay. Um, I don't really have a hobby. I like to be high and do my makeup. Okay. <laughs> all right, that's a vibe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Definitely. So we smoke, we be in the stew. Mm -hmm. That's the life of destiny, Brianna. Um, so Literally. this is funny. Did you know you were on what is it? Let me see. Just doing my research and I was like, oh, this is cold. I'm scared. No, 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 no. Famous birthdays? Oh, yeah. I didn't know because they had to email me and ask me for pictures for the <laughs> for the website. They were like, we don't really have anything because I had deleted everything off my Instagram at the time. So they oh, were okay. like, can you just send over some stuff? And then I think last year on my birthday or the year before that, they tweeted me and was like, happy birthday. Oh, that's lit. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's a level. That's definitely <laughs> yeah. a level. I'm waiting for my email still. <laughs> but like... Coming soon. Right, coming soon. All right, cool. Um, I've never done this before, but like I thought it'd be pretty cool slash funny. I like putting people on the spot when I have the ability. Um, oh do you want to like explain some tweets? <clears throat> okay. All right. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I only got like three or four. All right. So this one says, 
tweeted by Destiny Brianna. If I order a 10 piece, I deserve two ranch dressings off of it. Explain where did that come from? Were you frustrated? Yes, because <laughs> I eat American Deli all the time, of course. Shout out to I'm American Deli. Atlanta native. What's the flavor? 10 piece mild lemon pepper. Okay. With a peach. They have mild drink. lemon pepper? Yeah. I thought you could only get hot lemon pepper at the this. Honestly, I'm no, because I'm not one of those. Like, I hate taking a sip out my drink every time I eat something. I just want to eat the wings, okay? So, okay. the ranch is fine. But I get irritated because every time we go to American Deli, they give you one ranch. It, no matter how many wings you order, unless it's over 10, they give you one ranch. And it's annoying. Like, I need two. Why do you think I can eat 10 Boner wings? Bone in. Huh? Bone in. Oh, bone in. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, there's no way that that's making the whole 10. Like, how? And I noticed, like, the sauce, once you keep dipping it, like, the sauce gets into the ranch, so it dilutes the, like, ranch. Exactly. So, you just have really, really hot ranch. Exactly. Like, so, so, it's annoying. I felt that. That's why I saved it, because <laughs> I'd be feeling that way. And I don't ever have change. They'd be like, it's 50 cent. I'm like, <laughs> I just ran my card, okay? Can you just Yeah, that's not polite. That's not the way it should be. <laughs> Wish I could go back in time. I don't know. What would you do? If you could go back in time, what would you do? <clears throat> If I could go back in time, I would have been more consistent with my music when I dropped that one night cover because I'd probably be like way up right now. <laughs> okay, got it. So yeah. work harder. That would be your thing. Mm -hmm. All right, consistent. Cool. All right. So <laughs> my love's so genuine. Sometimes I hate it. Dated November fifth. <laughs> um, just because I just feel like I'm too genuine with people, even when they don't deserve it and. I would never do someone how they do me, regardless of the situation. So I was just in a mood. I was being a brat. <laughs> Big brat. Yeah. Yeah, but I definitely <laughs> resonated with that because I do feel like a lot of people, they turn into cold people with a lot of tough and thick walls because mm -hmm. people take their kindness. They take advantage of their kindness. Yeah, exactly. You know, so that like makes people just not trust. So... I try to keep my heart open and try to not treat treat people case by case basis and try to vet it before I, I don't know. I would like to live life where I don't regret what I do, no matter the outcome, if somebody appreciates it. Right. Know? I hate when I have bad performances. Like, I really beat myself up about it. So what makes a bad performance for you? <clears throat> so I really have stage fright. No cap. Like, I really do. So, anytime I have a performance, there's always people that come up to me after and they're like, you did so good. And I'm just like, really? Because I was miserable up there because I felt like I was not killing it. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know how to dance. And that's my biggest thing. Like, I just have to figure out what to do with myself. But you when look I'm like you should stage. be up there. You look like okay. you should be up there. Thank I've only you. seen one show, but I'm very critical. So, and like, you was up there, you was just like, I, I can't do it, but like, you, you were swaying. Like, you were swaying. Like, I was probably drunk that night. <laughs> <laughs> I always need a little liquor to loosen me up before I go on stage because I'm just, I just be so nervous. And then when it's smaller crowds, it's more intimate. Like, I know that sounds weird, but I feel more comfortable performing in front of a big crowd rather than a smaller one because it's not so intimate and everyone <laughs> isn't looking you in your face and I'm singing to you and you're just standing there and I'm like, Okay, this is getting awkward. I don't know where to look. I know what you mean by that, though. <laughs> you know, it's less like, it's like you're performing. If it's just two people there, it's like, you know they watch watching. Yeah, exactly. You know. <laughs> so, I get that. Uh, all right, so let me see. Is there anything you want to say? No. Anything you want to talk about in general? I'm trying to get you out of your bottle into oh the radar. Gosh. Right, I should have took a couple shots before I came <sighs> here. That's fine. <laughs> I'm in the club, I'm in the club, I'm in the club. So when you first heard that beat, what did you do? When I first heard it, I was like, this sounds like a rap beat. What am, what am I going to do with this? And then, I don't know. I just started freestyling on it. That's how I do my sessions. Like, I'll just record a melody and then i'll go back and replace it with words mm -hmm. or both like i'll just kind of freestyle the words a little bit and clean it back up 
So when I heard it, I was like, I was already mad. So I was like, you know what? I'm about to make a song about my mood. Because Why were you mad? <laughs> because my ex-girlfriend pissed me off. She did something to make me mad. Or I think we broke up. I don't remember. And Let's get into it. We need content. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> she made me mad. And I was just like, you know what? Fuck you. And <laughs> I just So you decided you were in the club doing your dance? Yeah, I was just like, how would you feel if I was just out like popping my shit and you're at home watching me live my best life because i think that's what she was doing and i was mad about it how dare you yeah <laughs> how dare you have fun without me <laughs> no, okay but, and then i just i came up with the hook in the verse and i was just like i need someone on this like another woman on this that's gonna do it justice and so me and Cheeky, Cheeky did her thing. yeah, me and Cheeky were already cool, and we had already did a previous song together. So I was just like, "Can you please get on this?" And then she came to the studio and killed it. So. Dope, dope, dope. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. So, all right. Um, do you want to put some like <clears throat> vocals over beatboxing? Huh? <laughs> like I can do something, and I'm scared. I don't know. Okay. It's very low pressure. That would require me to freestyle some words, right? Um, or you can do an unconcerned beatbox remix if you know it. Okay, of course I know my lyrics. I'm just saying, you know, I gotta say it. You know, I wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> just to clarify. Okay, all right, let's see. <clears throat> I ain't doing no favors, treat you like a stranger All you wanted was patience, so tell me what the fuck I was waiting for For you to decide whatever, when you know you can't do better She and me, I don't sweat up, right, right Now I'm in the club, doing my dance, making these moves, throwing these spins You don't like it when I go all out, always want me to hear you out Always gotta play by your rules, I don't even know why you Oh, why you do the things you do when you know I'm right? Come here and look me in my eyes. That shit feels wrong, but it feels right. I know that you gon' miss my vibe. Don't act like we ain't vibe when you know I'm right. Hey. Hey. Destiny Brianna, bitches. <laughs> Destiny Brianna. Sundays at eight.